First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, verse 21 to 26, and chapter 13, verse 1 to 3. The Lord's power was with them, and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. The news about this reached the church in Jerusalem, so they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw how God had blessed the people, he was glad and urged them all to be faithful and true to the Lord with all their hearts. Barnabas was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. When he found him, he took him to Antioch, and for a whole year the two met with the people of the church and taught a large group. It was at Antioch that the believers were first called Christians. In the church at Antioch, there were some prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, called the Black, Lucius, from Cyrene, Menaean, who had been brought up with Governor Herod, and Saul. While they were serving the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said to them, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, to do the work to which I have called them. They fasted and prayed, placed their hands on them, and sent them off. The Word of the Lord Today, Jesus gives you a mission. Go to the world in his name. Be an evangelist. Be a herald of the gospel. Take his message to the world. Are you ready to take this challenge? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Go and preach. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick. Bring the dead back to life. Heal those who suffer from dreaded skin diseases and drive out demons. You have received without paying, so give without being paid. Do not carry any gold, silver or copper money in your pockets. Do not carry a beggar's bag for the trip or an extra shirt or shoes or a walking stick. Workers should be given what they need. When you come to a town or village, go in and look for someone who is willing to welcome you and say, and stay with him until you leave that place. When you go into a house, say, Peace be with you. If the people in that house welcome you, let your greeting of peace remain, and if they do not welcome you, then take back your greeting. The Gospel of the Lord. In life as human beings, as people who have wisdom, who have knowledge, who have intelligence, we do a lot of things. We prepare. We prepare for things. If there is a birthday party, if there is a wedding, if someone is going to face an exam, there is a time of preparation. Today, Jesus invites his disciples to go to the world in his name, but there is no preparation as such. He is asking them not to take things which are necessary for the journey. Why is he asking his disciples to do so, it is because a disciple, a messenger, 
a herald of God will have to depend on him always. When you have extra things, you might have a temptation to think, I have sufficient things, I have enough things, so I can depend on these. In fact, there is a beautiful incident uh, some have reported from the life of uh, uh, Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa. Once a rich person came and said, Mother, I know you are doing a lot for the poor people. I would like to contribute. I am going to give you a cash check which will be enough for you for a few weeks. You don't have to depend on anybody. Surprisingly, Mother Teresa refused that. And uh, this generous rich person was confused. He, he, he was thinking, why is she refusing that? And he asked, why, why, why do you refuse this? Mother Teresa said, every morning I get up and I go to the Eucharistic Lord. Certain days I have nothing to feed thousands in my homes and I offer the day to the Lord and He gives. He gives. I experience His generosity and at the end of the day I have so many reasons to thank and praise Him for what He has done. In case if I take your check, I might forget him. What a beautiful incident. What a beautiful story. We need to remember that we depend on God in everything, especially someone who goes in his name. A messenger will have to depend on the one who sends. And when Jesus commissions his disciples, he empowers them. He gives them the ability to heal, to cast out demons. Those blessings are enough for us. My dear friends, you and I are invited to be empowered by Jesus and go to the world in his name to cast out demons, to break his kingdom and to establish God's kingdom. Sri Vachanaya